How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to play a finger picking version of Knockin' on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan on guitar. Now I posted a lesson a while back just going over the chords to this song and showing you a simple strumming pattern that's going to be more authentic to that original Bob Dylan guitar part. In today's video I want to show you a different approach where we can play through these changes but we can use a finger style accompaniment. And if you're new to finger picking this is going to be a simple exercise that you can play that's going to be fun and then you can go and do it right along with the recording or maybe you want to mix this into your own music and your own chord progressions and you want to work more on finger style guitar. So we're just going to use our thumb, our index, and our middle, just three fingers for our finger picking hand. And we're going to do a very simple pattern going through the chord progression. But before we get into it, I really appreciate your support at the link below. I've got a lot of great resources on my website, johnmcclennan.com, if you're interested in diving deeper. And be sure to check out the first link below where you can get some exclusive videos that are not on YouTube that are really going to help you out in this style. All right, well, with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Knockin' on Heaven's Door as recorded by Bob Dylan on guitar. We've got one repeating chord progression for the entire song. I'll play it for you first, and then I'll break it down. Here we go. Three and four and... just a couple chords here. The first chord I'm playing is a G and I'm putting my third finger on the third fret of the sixth string and then my fourth finger on the third fret of the first string. And I'm muting the fifth string. So I'm just kind of arcing that finger over and muting, muting that fifth string. And then we're going to go to a D just from the fourth string down, your standard D chord, and then A minor. So we've got G two, then D, two, then A minor for four counts, three, four, then we repeat that again, G, two, D, two, but then we go to C, two, three, four, for four counts on C, so two G, two D, four A minor, two G, two D, four C. Okay, now with the finger picking hand, we're going to play the bass notes, or the root notes, with our thumb of the finger picking hand. So the first two beats are gonna go like this. So I'm playing the sixth string with my thumb, and then I'm going to the third string with my index, and then the first string with my middle. One and two, then we'll come back to that third string on the and of two. One and two, and nice and even thumb, index, middle, index. Then we're going to switch to the D chord on beat three and play. So here we're going to do the same exact pattern. The only difference is that instead of playing the first note being a G, like we did on the G chord, we're going to play a D here. And that's going to be the fourth string. So the strings on the D chord are four, three, one, three. So if I put that together with the G, it goes. Just nice and even eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. Then we go to A minor. Now here the root is on the fifth string. So we're gonna play the fifth string, third string, first string, third string, because that note is A, that's your open A. One and two and three and four and. Now we'll do two patterns there on the A minor because it lasts twice as long as the other two chords. So the first two bars go. Then we go back and we repeat G to D again like this. Then 
Then we'll play C and we'll do the same picking pattern that we did for the A minor. That's because the root note of this C chord is on the fifth string. So here's all of that played as one piece. Let's try it together. We'll go a little faster and we're going to play it two times. Get ready, I'll count you in. Three and four and. Second time. Have fun working on Knocking on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan on guitar. I hope you got some value out of this finger style lesson. Be sure to take it slow and just work on getting that same pattern all the way through the entire song. Before you go, don't forget to get the free training that I have at the first link below. If you got some value out of today's video, these other videos that are exclusive and not on YouTube are really going to jumpstart your playing. So check that out at the first link down below. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. Thanks for your support, and until next time.